Recently, I've been trying to streamline my photography kit. I'm going from a few primes to a number of zooms, as well as one or two primes to keep in the kit. So, today, I thought that we would do an unboxing of the lens that is going to be my mid-range, my 24 to 70. And let's get some first impressions on it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Here we go. Nice. So this is the Angino Design Tokena ATX270 Pro. This is a 28 to 70 millimeter f2.6 to 2.8. God, like this, it has everything. Good work. Nice seller. This thing comes in a nice leather case. Look at that, original bag and everything. Big metal body. So I got this in the Nikon F mount. Um, I shoot full frame Canon, so I'm gonna have to convert this. Wow. Let's take a look at this glass. Let's take a look at this body of the lens. This is Wow. Zoom ring's a little tight. Look at that. Oh, that's right, it's Nikon. It goes the other way. Jesus. This is a good looking lens. Nice heavy metal body. Oh. Good size. I'm never gonna get used to putting the cap on backwards because fucking Nikon. With our hood, this is what we're looking like. So that's actually a moderately sized lens. Uh, it's gonna be smaller than like your Canon 70 to 200s and um, I think that would actually be smaller than the Canon 24 to 70. Frankly, um, I think this would probably be a little bit heavier though because this is uh, some pretty solid constructions. As I stated before, this lens was designed by Angino originally, who is a legendary French cinema lens maker. Now, they were trying to make their own 24-70 design, but gave up at some point in the process, and Tokena bought the designs, and this is the brainchild of that collaboration. Now, let's go out and get some samples. Due to recent global health events, I'm unable to go to some of my usual shooting spots for testing. So most of my shooting is restricted to indoors. That compromise in mind, I am blown away by this lens. Given the fact that I purchased my unit for just over $200, the only people who shouldn't take a look at this lens are those who desperately need autofocus. I struggle to find something to fault it on. It loses some sharpness wide open, as lenses do, but it's still crazy sharp. At 70 millimeters, I found it appeared to have less contrast but I easily match the footage in post. It has no chromatic aberration or other distortion to speak of. The bokeh is beautiful, round, and has a soft edge to it. Overall, my initial impressions of this lens are that it is just fantastic. Once quarantine lifts, I'm going to be doing professional work with this lens, and I hope to create an update video further down the line, sharing my thoughts after a few dozen more hours behind this wonderfully designed piece of glass.